Happy New Year, you guys. We made it into 2023 by God's grace, man. We're well, yeah, here. We made it alive and well, I hope. And I know a lot of things might not have gone the way we wanted them to go in the past year, but thank God we made it through. Thank God we lived to see another day, another year. My name is Novo Kumalo and welcome to my channel. And if you're coming back, welcome back. I do hope that if you're not yet subscribed, you will take the moment to click the subscribe button and join the family. It's completely free, but it helps my channel grow. And if you're subscribed, but your notification bell is not on, please make sure you click it so that each time I upload a video, you will be notified find and you'll never miss anything so i typically record my videos in advance so i had this video prepped that was going to lo launch on the 3rd of january right at the start of the month and in it i was i wanted to hit the ground running right you know it's january it's the planning month maybe some of you plan in december but <laughs> personally in december i'm too busy having too much fun but you know january is the planning month it's when we sit down and we strategize and we're trying to you know make new year's resolutions and set the goals that we want to achieve for ourselves so i had a video in line with that you know about how to like hit the ground running how to make sure that we guarantee success in in the year to come by planning well setting up correct systems etc but then on the first of january i was actually thinking and reflecting and 2020 2021 was such a blur it took so much from us it took our hopes our dreams it took our loved ones it stole so much potential from us and then 2022 we sort of returned to normalcy right so that's the year when we were kind of making up for lost time you know for example we had wanted to travel but obviously we couldn't travel during the the pandemic so in 2022 we tried to travel a lot we all just like well, because we went wild with our dreams, right? We were just focused on making up for lost time. And I was thinking about how maybe in the chasing and the running and the making up for lost time, we kind of lost sight of what's important. And that is that we lost sight of God. So yesterday, this it kept ringing in my mind, you know, to say, refocus, refocus. And and so I put my head down and I thought, Lord, what, what are you trying to say to me, right? Why, why do I keep hearing the word refocus? And after much thought and reflection and, and, and prayer during our evening devotion, I realized that if we want to make the most of the year, if we want to guarantee success, if we want things to go, you know, according to our plans, but obviously, you know, God, God is the one who establishes plans according to his will. But if we want a guarantee of success, we need to start the year right. We need to pause. We need to calm down. We need to reflect and we need to refocus on God. And so I, I you know, I, I put my head down and I started thinking of scripture that can, you know, help us to, to refocus on God, to, to make sure that we start our year right and that we're well placed to have a very fruitful 2023. So I just have a few verses to share with you that I hope will enlighten you and that I hope will encourage you. And I, and I hope will help you slow down and calm down and refocus on what is important and establish the foundation before you hit the ground running with all the other things. And so, I'm sure we know this one. We need to seek God first. So Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. And I'm reading from the NIV. Not that it matters which version you read, but that's just the version that I'm reading. So Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Then I'll go into to verse 34, which also says, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This, you know, I, I kind of feel like I could just read this verse and then just stop there and then just, you know, say, go ye therefore into the rest of the year. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. What is seeking God? Seeking God is quieting down the noise. It's making yourself open to hearing him speak to you. You know that God has placed his Holy Spirit and his conscience inside each and one of us. But sometimes we think God doesn't speak anymore and we can't hear him anymore because we're so busy with all the clutter that the world has to us. There's social media, there's like entertainment, there's our phones. There's just so much noise around us that sometimes we cannot hear the voice of God. And so I feel like seeking first the kingdom of God is to say, Lord, there are so many things that are calling for my attention right now, but I just want to quiet them. I just want to 
to to declutter my mind to declutter my heart and just take a moment to ask myself what would you have me do what what do you have for me and and you know god says that if you seek me you will find me if you seek me with all your heart so it also comes from seeking god from an earnest place not just seeking god because we want all we want all the other things to be added to us but because we're earnestly yearning and longing for a relationship with god because we know that you know when we have god and we're working with god by our side then we're guaranteed that all these things and i like that the verse says all these things not some of these things not a few of the things that you want but all the other things will be added to us so don't worry about tomorrow because if you've sought god god will take care of the rest so seek god earnestly and tomorrow and its troubles will worry about themselves i'm preaching now here but this is how we're going to start the year if it means that we preach we're going to preach so that we get the year right and then the second thing that i, I thought about when i was thinking about focusing is that we need to be mindful of the company we keep I think this is a very big thing for me because in the past two years I have been intentional about you know the friendships that I form. I've been intentional about you know the the connections that I I, I make. Some friendships, some acquaintances, some in business, some in in all facets of life. And I've seen my life bloom and grow in the direction of the company that I keep. And for this one, we're going to read Psalm chapter one, verse one to six. It says, "Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked." Or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on His law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither; whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked; they are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. So listen. Basically, this verse is saying you need to be intentional. You need to be careful. You need to be sober-minded about the type of company you keep. You need to be sober-minded about the paths that you take. You need to be sober-minded about the places you go and who you take with you there. Blessed is the man who is careful about those things. And it says, more so the person whose delight who delights in the law of the Lord and who meditates upon it day and night. And I know we've made you know so many excuses for why we don't have time to meditate on the Word of God. But I think if we were careful, if if we if we were honest with ourselves, there's so much room, there's so much space for us to meditate on the Word of God, and I think we've also limited God to to that we can only meditate and hear Him and speak to Him if we have sat down and set aside time. That is all good and well. But even as we go about our day, even as we're in the office, it doesn't take a moment to just you know whisper a prayer, even whilst you're busy, whispering a prayer to God and say, God, please continue to guide my steps. God, please show me what You want me to do today. God, please make sure that the people who are looking at me see a representation of you 2023 please be intentional please be cautious about the path that you take the people that you walk with and intentionally remove yourself from situations that lead you in the path of week of the weekend that lead you in the path in the path of mockers and scoffers we all know the circles that we have we all know the friends that we have the company that we keep and i think it's important as that they are to reevaluate and see if you are well aligned if you if if the path that you've taken is in line with the will of god then the third thing, seek counsel and guidance. I, I alluded to this in, in my in the second point of being mindful of the company key. So this may be in your work, it might be in your friendship circles, wherever you are. It's important to always seek guidance. And for this one, I'm going to read Proverbs chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. And it says, My son, or daughter, of course, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding. Indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and you if you look for it as if you look for it as for silver and search for it as hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Man, these verses you know, they just keep speaking and, and this chapter I, I urge you to go and read the whole of of, of Proverbs. But here it's saying that you know the way we seek after wealth, the way we seek after money, wealth, business opportunities, and fame. If we use that same energy and zeal to seek guidance, to seek wisdom, to seek knowledge and understanding, if we exert ourselves with as much zeal and tenacity and energy in the pursuit of wisdom and knowledge and understanding, 
God will add to it. So it says that you need to call out for it and cry out aloud for understanding. Be intentional about asking and seeking wisdom from those who've gone before you. Our parents, as sometimes, as, a, as you know, as draining as they might be as with their old-fashioned ways and wanting us to do the way that the, you know things the way they were done back in the day if we take a moment to take us to take a step back and understand that out of age comes wisdom and knowledge and understanding and if we sit at their feet being blessed to still have you know elder generation amongst us if we take a moment to absorb the wisdom that our parents have if we take a moment to absorb the wisdom to seek for and 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 look for and find good mentors that absorb the knowledge and wisdom that and understanding that they have we are assured that we will have a bright future because no one knows the way as much as someone who's already walked it ahead of us to wrap all these things up in the noise and the hustle and bustle of everything that's making noise in our ears social media the bills, the debit orders and all the things, all the things that can worry us in, in our pursuit of, you know, making it in life, looking a certain way, losing weight, gaining this and all that. I want to leave you with um, Philippians, Philippians chapter 4 verse 8. And it says, finally, brothers, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think about these things. So as we go about life, it can get stressful. Uh, people will step on our toes. We will want to revenge. People, things will not go our way. We want to find to fight and, and, and all the other things, you know, that, that, that go on on a day to day basis. We need to take a moment to just think about these things and quieten the noise and be connected with God. And I think whenever we think about the beautiful things and the pure things, it helps us see just how much we have going on well for us than we have going wrong for us. So my prayer for you this year, my prayer for you as we start 2023 is that we might refocus, that we might seek God first and that we might return to God. And I pray that this be the year that you return to your first love, that you return to God, that you reconnect with him and that all of your other endeavors after seeking God will will be blessed of him and will be successful here's to a blessed 2023 i hope you nothing but success may all your dreams come true thank you for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please share the video with your friends and family let's help everyone else to start the year right it doesn't cost a thing to share or to like the video but it does help my channel grow thank you for joining me i'll see you guys again next week goodbye